Hello, love. Welcome to Yoga Life with yours truly. You guessed it. I'm Amber. I'm so stoked that you're back. Welcome back. <laughs> if you have completed the series for low back pain relief, congratulations. And if you're still here for this bonus feature, then I know that you're serious about finding some relief in your low back. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna give you a tidbit today, tidbit. And this is a pretty huge tip. It's gonna be more of a workshop. We're only gonna do one posture today, literally one, you don't even need a yoga mat for it. Let's get started. Come to standing whenever you're ready. Shake your legs out. Maybe even kind of walk around and then come to standing the way that you traditionally stand. Don't think about it. There's no right or wrong answer. Just stand the way that you stand. If you really stand with your knees locked or you really stand slunched over, do that. Do exactly what feels like your normal stance. I'm going to move around and find mine real quick. I'll give you a second to do the same. Beautiful. And then pause. Allow your shoulders to melt away from your ears. And then find that C curve in your low back. Good. And then take your eyes and look down at your feet. This is what we're going to talk about today. Feet placement. A yoga instructor that I admire in Asheville, his name is Joe Taft, and I'm going to steal his quote he says, look at your feet as if they are cars. And in this video and in life, we're going to try to drive our cars straight. In other words, you want your toes pointing straight. All 10 toes. So when I look down at my feet, I'm going to tell you what I notice. And notice what you notice about yours. I notice that first of all, my feet, my right foot, which would be when you're looking at me, it's my ear left, but this foot is out. Okay, and I notice this all the time. And when I'm having low back pain or joint pain in my hips or my knees, I notice this is how I'm standing a lot. Either like this, do you ladies stand like this? If you're looking at something or talking to someone, next time you're standing, just notice how you're standing and look at your feet. That's all I'm challenging you to do. And then that will come into your yoga practice and your walking and your running. That's why we're here. I really want you to incorporate what we're talking about today into everything. So I noticed that. I also noticed that my feet are a little bit wider than my hips. And they weren't even. My right was a little bit in front of my left. So whatever you notice, take a little mental picture. Notice that. And then we want to fix that or alter it. So let's take both feet under your hips. Line your toes up. Good. And then have a little bend in your knees and point both of your cars straight. So if you got both feet were out like this, point them in. For some of you, it might feel like you're turning your toes in. It might be really extreme because both of your feet really fan out. So sometimes we have to go through a little bit of discomfort or awkwardness to get it right. Or some of you, your toes might point in. So let's point those toes toward, all 10 toes forward. Take your hands on your hips and point your fingertips down towards your toes and hopefully you kind of split in between your big toe and all of your other toes. Pick up all 10 toes, put the big toes down, little toes down, try to keep all the toes in between up. Can you do it? Comment below if you can. It's a very special trait. It's a magic trick actually. And then all 10 toes go down like you're grabbing the ground and allow a bend in your knees. If you lock out your joints, that's going to cause pain in your joints, knees, hips, spine. However, if we drive our car straight and we come into mountain pose, that's the only pose we're going to do today, mountain pose. You grip into the earth, activate the calf muscles, all the muscles in the legs, all the way up. And then allow that beautiful spine, all the natural curves of the spine to stack, stack, stack with the C curve in the low back. I'm going to show you from the side. What we don't want to do is this or this. We want a neutral pelvis. What we talked about last class, the C curve. 
So whenever you're ready, allow your arms to be soft and we'll do this posture together. Maybe close your eyes and allow your shoulder bones to move slightly back. It'll feel like you're sticking your chest out if you're not used to this posture. Just think, let that sink in. And notice, does this feel really awkward or is it kind of amazing? Check it out. And bring your attention to your diaphragmatic breathing that we started at the beginning of the series. And just send some love into your low back and allow your muscle memory to take note of how you're standing right now. And ask your body, please walk like this, jump like this, run like this, stand like this. It takes a lot of attention and it seems really simple and silly maybe, but it's huge, I promise. I have a friend Becky in one of my classes that I teach every week and she started practicing this when she was walking on the treadmill. She had so much pain in her knees and her low back and her hips and now she has no pain because she started driving her car straight. On your next inhale, reach those arms out. Give yourself a big hug. Y'all are so awesome. Thanks for joining this bonus feature. I can't wait to hear how it helps you. If you notice anything about the way that you're standing and I would love to hear all about it. Release your arms. Inhale, big arms, and then exhale. Hug yourself the other way with the other arm on top. I know that this little thing is going to help you big time. It's helped me tremendously. And then bring those hands to heart center. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for doing this series with me. You're amazing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, maybe you haven't subscribed to the channel. I would love for you to. I would love to see you next time. Namaste for today. Amber, wait, what? Oh. <laughs>